under the provisions of Title II of the 1950 Internal Security Act, also known as the McCarran Act, the President of the United States of America is still authorized, without further approval by Congress, to determine an event of insurrection within the United States and to declare the existence of an internal security emergency. The President is then authorized to apprehend and detain each person as to whom there is reasonable ground to believe probably will engage in certain future acts of sabotage. Persons apprehended shall be given a hearing without right of bail, without the necessity of evidence, and shall then be confined to places of detention. KBCR News, the Southland's most comprehensive news coverage. The President today signed an executive order calling to immediate duty 100,000 reservists. Pentagon sources indicate that at least 20,000 of these newly mobilized troops would be sent to the Northeast Asian area in response to the shelling of Seoul, the capital of South Korea, last week. The sources gave no further indication as to how the remaining reservists might be used. It was neither confirmed nor denied that they would be made available to local law enforcement officials to deal with the current domestic disorders. <laughs> Americans were reported killed and a further 492 wounded. The task force of 30,000 U.S., Cambodian, Australian, and South Korean soldiers drove deep yesterday into the Hill 98 and Walesback regions of Laos in an attack described as the heaviest so far since the war was extended. Patrick John Edwards, you have been found guilty of conspiracy to undermine the national security and intent to incite to riot. You are hereby sentenced to serve from 15 to 21 years in a federal penitentiary. You have the alternative of undergoing four days in Punishment Park. How do you choose? I'd first like to thank the court first for its fairness. Defendant, silence, and how do you choose? Punishment Park. Time, 9 a.m. The Bear Mountain National Punishment Park in Southern California. Right there, stop. You right behind him. Right there. You over there. Next man. Okay, that woman there, the last man in line. Okay, we're going into the tent. The 47th Emergency Internal Security Tribunal for the Southwestern Region is authorized by Executive Order Number 302. William C. Hoger, Chairman, presiding, is hereby concluded. The United Nations today became the focus of world attention as the U.S. delegate challenged the Russians to admit that their missile-carrying submarines have moved into the Caribbean made it clear that the U.S. will tolerate no threats to its sovereignty, and he accused the Soviets of trying to divert world attention from their actions in the Middle East. After heated discussion, the U.S. delegate indicated that the actions of the Communist bloc had been responsible for the tripling of our monthly draft calls. He denied the Russian delegate's accusation that the U.S. government is building up a large standing army for the suppression of its own people. I like your job of flattering young people. Senator George McLewis resigned from the Senate today after 22 years of active service. He said in a press conference shortly after he walked from the Senate floor that he could no longer participate in what he called the dismantling of basic freedoms for which this country was established. In a prepared statement, he mentioned specifically the types of, quote, repressive, unquote, legislation which led to his sudden resignation. These included the no-knock laws, stop and frisk laws, cancellation of immunity for Fifth Amendment cases, preventative detention, the activation of detention camps, and the establishment of quasi-judicial tribunals. He said that he was particularly disturbed by the reported activities in the punishment parks. Marshal will now bring the 48th session of the tribunal to order. 48th Emergency Internal Security Tribunal of the Southwestern Region is authorized by Executive Order Number 302. It is now in session. William C. Holger, Chairman, presiding. Chairman, report.
question for dismissal at this time. Dismissal on what grounds? Constitutional. In particular, first, fourth, fifth, and fourteenth amendments. Motion overruled. How the and fuck you gonna overrule the Constitution? Defense, yeah. keep the defendant silent. Then if it please the court, I'd like to introduce a motion to have each of the defendant's convictions reviewed separately. Denied. In that case, and with all due respect to the court's identity as a tribunal, may I move that the court permit some equivalent of voir dire proceedings? Denied. Will the court set bail? Some of these defendants have been in jail now for months without being sentenced. We don't even know Shut what up. Keep the, the defense, defense quiet. Defense. Keep the defendants quiet. Bail denied. Yeah, denied, denied, denied. That's all the fuck you can do. We've been in jail for two months, and we don't even know what we were arrested for. Marshal, keep the defendants Shut quiet. Leroy Brown, Jay Kaufman, James Arthur Kohler, Allison Michener, Charles Robbins, Nancy Smith, William Valerie. You stand here guilty of the grievous charge of conspiracy to undermine the national security and of separate charges which will be enumerated as so indicted and convicted at the preliminary hearings of the 5th Emergency Court of the 44th Precinct in the District of Glendale. Captain Edward Rubin, Sheriff's Department, presiding, May 24th of this year. Temperature. 89 degrees. <laughs> At the time of your sentencing, you will be able to choose between a penal sentence duly passed or accept the alternative of punishment park. Punishment park, described by the U.S. Senate Subcommittee on Law and Order as a necessary training for the law officers and National Guard of the country in the control of those elements who seek the violent overthrow of the United States government and the means of providing a punitive deterrent for said subversive elements. You will speak only when you are spoken to and at no other times. Each violation of this ruling will result in a citation for contempt of court of one year in a federal penitentiary in addition to sentence duly passed. Finally, I wish to announce that we have with us at this time television film cameras of the National Network, also those of Britain and West Germany. It is hereby hoped to document these proceedings and their results in the widest possible manner, as we know their import to be of vital concern to the people of the free world everywhere. Their coverage will be impartial. Bullshit. This trial is illegitimate. This trial is illegitimate, and it will be exposed to what it is. These are the members of Corrective Group 638. And these, the members of Corrective Group 637, now sentenced to spending three days in Punishment Park. First defendant. What's your name? What's your name? Brown, motherfucker. Lee Robert Brown, well-known author, broadcaster, and political activist. I, I want to be tried by a jury of my peers. That means black. In front of witnesses who identify themselves. Black. Brown. Brown. In person. Witnesses. Here. Keep the defendant silent. Restrain the defendant. No end in sight for the heat wave, which has been flying Los Angeles and California for the past three and a half months. Temperatures today will top 100 degrees for the 12th straight day in downtown Los Angeles, with the valley due for 105. Tonight's low will be 79 degrees. Deserts can expect mercury readings of 115 degrees plus. You have accepted this course of your own volition as an alternative to your penal sentences. You understand you have three days and two nights in which to reach the United States flag flying four and a half miles due north of the Bear Shadow Mountains. These you can see to your front. These mountains are 16 and a half miles from the spot where you are standing. You will direct yourselves toward the area bounded by the indicating lights. Pursuit leader to 245, pursuit leader to 245, ready your signal. You will head past this point, immediately turn west, that is to your left, and proceed 13 to 17 miles along the line of the mountains until you reach the saddle indicated by a second set of flags. There you will turn due north, cross the intervening plain, pass directly through the following range of hills, a further distance of 19 miles, and proceed directly to the United States flag. 
Mr. Brown, did you actually advocate overthrow of these, our United States? Mr. Brown? I refuse to answer that question on the grounds that it may tend to incriminate me. That's my right under the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution and overrule that. Defendant, defendant, is people like you, defendants like you with your objections, Mr. Chairman. No, the object of this course is simple. You must evade capture by the pursuing law enforcement officers and reach the flag by the appointed time. That is to say, 10 o'clock on the evening of the third day from now. Your capture or your failure to complete the course within the given limit of time will result in the reversion to your penal sentence. And are you or are you not a communist or a member of the communist party? Objections. Objections. Hey, man, I'll answer that motherfucking question. What's your language? <laughs> you think my language is immoral? Answer the question. What do you call that shit you just did, man? What do you call this shit here? Klein, give your sidearm to Cepeda and go unlock the prisoners. <laughs> Were you going to call for revolution on that television? What do you want me to say? I just told you the truth. Were you going to call what for revolution? What would you do? The truth as you saw it. I would tell the truth. You could have a better country than I would tell the story of right black now. people like it has never been told in this country, because you never tell it, because they never tell it. I would say what happens to Chicanos in this country, because the fruit growers ain't going to tell it, and it's either they or members of their club who buys the time on that television set. I would tell what happened to people who are uh, poor and uneducated and automated out of a job and who stand in long fucking lines talking to little people like you with delusions of power and, de and unemployment lines all day long to be fucked off because your old man didn't ball you right last night. You got a case your language hand. as a lady in a court. Where? The truth is the fact that you're devouring your children. <laughs> The fact that you are oppressing the people who are powerless in the country. And what the truth would you is the do? fact that, that a few of the people in, in this, the country this country are living on the benefit. You, you want to listen or you want to talk? Continue, Mr. Brown. Tell us. Tell us your message. You don't want to hear my message, man. We want to hear your you message. You don't want to hear we my message. You spent 50 years evolving a propaganda system that'll take the truth and change it into what you want to hear. And you don't want to hear it? shit that's going to mean you might have to give up something. You don't want it. You All you want to do is sit on your you fat dividend drawing ass and draw dividends. You see you. how I react to the names that you called me? I didn't react like as your people just reacted moments ago, did I? You called me pig and other names. Did I react like that? You're in a very fortunate position, man. All I can do to you is call you a dirty name. These officers have strict These officers have strict instructions not to molest you in any way. or to in any way hinder you from reaching your ultimate destination. However, they will not allow you to leave the boundary of the course. It has been stated that's a fact. There are more color television sets and automobiles owned by black people in the United States than all of Russia together. So what? That shows a very in intense so interest in the economics of this country and your people. Suppose what? nobody they in Russia owned a car. What does statistics mean? Important. They have a standard of living that's better than any in the world. Hey, man. You can say an identical thing for every animal in the zoo. I'm sure their standard of living has increased. They certainly eat a fucking lot better. The time is now 9.54 a.m. At 10, you will commence the course. At 12 noon, that's to say two hours from now, the pursuit force will be set in motion against you. Today's pursuit force will consist of a unit of the National Guard, part of the tactical riot squad of the city police department, and three federal marshals. At the Cinco de Mayo Congress of Chicano Youth, the defendant was quoted as saying, to you I say, free your communities, arm yourselves. If pigs comprehend nothing but force, then use it. Liberate yourselves. Off the pigs. Kill the chief pig. Liquidate the mayor, the Why governor, etc. Why don't you read the rest of it? That's Why treason, don't you read Mr. the rest of it? Anybody can lift treason. that shit out of context. Defendant, you had your chance to speak. Let him, let Agent Donovan finish this his This is statement. all we have on this close. Pig Donovan. This man is writing things calling for violence, calling for the destruction of this country, and is doing more than just for himself. His people are going out and spreading this all over the place, all over the country. In my very factory where I work, all kinds of people are reading his stuff. It's all over the place. Mainly the colored people are reading it. And he's just stirring them up, talking about legitimate problems that we have, and just trying to 
proposes violent alternatives to it. You talk as if this is some great civilized, nonviolent place. And it ain't. America is as psychotic as it is powerful, and violence is the only goddamn thing that will command your attention. Thank you. Manola, you got this country, this America, was born in violence. I mean, revolutions are violent things. I'm in this place right now because my people, my forebearers, were violently brought here like this in chains from Africa where they were violently made to work. It was upon the, the labor of their backs that you so violently wrung out of them that this country was industrialized right away, right at first. This land that we're standing on and all the rest that belongs to the country was violently taken from the Indians. Violently. Time, 10.03 a.m. Temperature, 91 degrees. Now go straight down the hill, move in my direction. Time remaining before the beginning of the pursuit. Two hours. Distance to the United States flag, 53 miles. They made their choice. They made their choice. They could have done a lot of things, but they chose to, like, uh, throw fire bombs and conspire to violently overthrow the government. Fine, that's their choice. They're doing what they want to do. I'm doing what I want to do. Time remaining before the beginning of the police pursuit. One hour and 53 minutes. You know, I mean, those kids out there running scared, man. Everybody's running scared. They wouldn't break the law in the first place, they wouldn't have to run scared. Yeah, maybe they don't know what the law is, Captain. Everybody knows what the law is. He's got to take the consequences for it. In order to provide what is termed further motivation, this group have been told that they will find water halfway to the American flag. Yeah, uh, I think he's in for some real, real bad stuff. I don't know. You really got a hard on for this dude. I don't have a hard on him. He's got one for everybody. He's got one for the world. Yeah. So fuck him if that's the way he wants to play. That's the way we'll play. A word about violence. These next three days will be only as violent as you want them to be. Your capture, should that occur, will be as peaceful as you want it to be. An officer will announce to you that you are apprehended and that your participation in the course is concluded. Should you resist the arrest, or should any of you adopt violence in any form during the course, then we shall use those means against you. In short, you can start the violent actions if you so choose, but I assure you that we will finish them. Let's take a minute and get out of here. I'm staying. I'm staying too. Oh, you're gonna stay and play, too. you're gonna stay and play Super Spook, huh? I'm staying. Who's staying? 
That man gonna shoot the shit out of you. They gonna kill us. You gotta break out sideways then. Otherwise, there's no chance. No chance. I'm gonna hide out. I don't know about the rest of you people, but this bullshit's got to end. I ain't leaving another motherfucking step. I'm staying. I'm gonna kill a fucking pig. Hey, that's not gonna do any good. You're gonna bring them down on all of us. Shit, then you split. Forget that. Shit, you don't think they're down on you now? At least you got a chance. Chance, man. You got 50 miles of no chance. You're gonna go out there and run through that fucking desert and play target practice for them fucking pigs. Fuck Why that! Listen, in two hours we can get lost out there. Now that's the only chance we got. You stay here, they're gonna be on you in five oh, no, minutes. That's, that's it. You couldn't make it in the heat if there were no police. They're I say stay. Water out there. They got water. You know that there's we water can't out stay. There. That's our only chance. You stay here, they're gonna be on you in five minutes. They're just over that hill. You're a, you're a marksman. Yeah. A sniper. A mortar. What do you mean you can't stay here? Why not? Oh, He's coming. The ones that are gonna go gotta go right now. I mean, we can't wait. Right. Well, if you're gonna stay it. here and do a thing with the cops, do it. But you're gonna get us killed if you do. Have you ever killed a man? Yeah. Jay Kaufman, co-founder of the National Committee Against Jay. War and Repression, age 28. Time remaining, one hour and 42 minutes. Heard for the very simple reason that this thing loaded with magnum loads has got enough knockdown power to knock down a rhinoceros if it's coming at you. Now, I'm sure that we're going to be apprehending very few rhinoceri, but if we happen to come into one, I want to know darn well that I'm going to be able to stop it. I see by your file here that you were formerly a candidate for vice president of the United States. That's correct. Also, it shows that you were very, very See how successful. Much I believed in your system. Make your answers brief. <laughs> okay. Well, if you say you are against war and depression. What type of depression? War and war. Or depression of no, the I uh, said uh, people's depression or depression no, of economics. I'm not talking about depression. I'm talking about repression. All right. Repression. Right. Being oppressed. What? What were you charged with? Uh, draft evasion, and I don't know. What they call uh, hindering the, the war effort. Are you for war or against war? I'm for war. Do you, uh, it's necessary to protect our country. Do you country. condone this war that Naturally, we're being a member of the? Do you condone uh, the war in Vietnam, sir? Pardon me. Do you condone the war in Vietnam? Certainly. You do. Why? Why? Yes. <clears throat> because it's protecting our country. And who tells you this? Would you like us to, to have them you come over here and fight us? Would you fight them? <laughs> who tells you that this war is protecting your country? We're fighting communism. Well, who tells you this, sir? Well, I hear it every day. I gather that you're not going to try and make the next 50 miles to the United States flag. I wouldn't walk around the goddamn fucking corner for American flag. Let alone go out in the desert. Time remaining, one hour and 25 minutes. Squeeze and fire. We're going through a, a kind of a group suicide here in America. In a situation where you want to fire two shots, you want to fire two shots rapid fire, pull the hammer back, fire the first shot off single action, and then follow it up. Have you any idea how you're going to try and complete these 50 miles? I have no idea. We're just going to keep, keep just on. Keep going. You know the difference between a patriot and a chauvinist? A who? A patriot and a chauvinist. A chauvinist? Yes. Define the word chauvinist to me. I like to find the word chauvinist. Uh, Chauvin was a, an officer under Napoleon, and his loyalty was so absurd that we got the word chauvin, which is chauvinistic, which is an absurd loyalty. They promised us water at the other end, some water faucets on. They, uh, they believe in protest and, and uh, ritual defiance, and yet they're willing to, uh, to participate fully in the, uh, in the rules established by the police for these games fully expecting that they'll come out all right if they make the flag. Squeeze. Fire. Are you expecting to die in the next two or three days? I expect to die in the next two or three minutes. Your function with this weapon is to hit a man-sized figure. You don't have to put out his left eye, you don't have to get him right in the heart, you don't have to hit his kneecap or pick the heel off his boot as Wyatt Earp used to do. How old are you? I'm 20. All you have to do is hit a man-sized figure from here to there. I don't think they're trying to kill us, really. Get him in that area, 
He's going down. He's got to go down, and he's going to go down hurting. I think they're just making it difficult. They're not going to shoot you. This isn't Mexico or other countries where they shoot people like but you. What it's would you worse. do to us if you had, if you were in control? What would you be very humanitarian with people like us? I would try what to. Would be. I would make more of an effort than you are. What is your moral code? What would you do for this country? You're sitting back, enjoying the adulation of all these kids. You're 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 indulging in this self gratification. You're indulging in some sort of mental masturbation. That's you're obtaining. What you're doing right now. Mr. How could they have any faith in a man who makes a mockery out of everything that we stand for? The home, true love. You haven't got the first idea about love with your love-ins. You really haven't. If it was up to you kind of people, we would just shut down these factories, we'd burn them down, we'd all go out and panhandle in the street. Then what kind of society would we have then? What kind of, how, how, would you, how would you feed people then? So you want us to work and support you. That's what you want. There is enough food, enough wealth in this country to take care of everyone in this country. If everybody there is. If and for everyone is being taken care of. Or to go around the streets and, and have orgies all the time and sleep in the streets. I'm not and going the around the streets having orgies all the time. You're not, huh? And burning I'm as, down buildings and I'm as concerned things? as you are about the direction of this country. You know, I, I, I really feel sorry for you. You know, we're the same age. And here you are defending a miserable existence. Do you, don't you realize how you're being exploited? How the, how, how the people who control the money are diminishing your existence to working in a fucking dirty factory which puts black smoke Watch up in the air, which pollutes planet. the entire world, and you're working your ass off, saving money for your kids, getting pennies while they're making hundreds and hundreds of dollars? Don't you realize how you're being duped? How they get your head fucked with? How they have you indoctrinated? How they have you conditioned? How they've misinformed you? Don't you see this? Are you that blind? Some new kid comes along, some new drug comes along, you'll try it. What about some new kick like genocide, like imperialism, like napalm warfare? What about those new kicks which this country puts in practice? This is a Remington Wingmaster Model 870 shotgun, 12 gauge. What about the corruption? What about the police brutality? What about the oppression of the minority groups that this country is responsible? You're sick. I am not immoral, Mrs. Jurgens. You want to know what's immoral? Do you want me to? Do you want me to tell you what's immoral? War me, is immoral. Poverty is immoral. Racism is immoral. What Police is brutality is immoral. Oppression is immoral. Genocide is immoral. Imperialism is immoral. This country represents all those things. It's loaded with double odd buckshot. What are we going to have Race love? Trainer. What are we going to have brotherhood? Huh? We're not, as long as there's this little fucking Hitler. Each individual cartridge has nine ball bearings in it. And it's sending all the oppressed people to their death. Don't you know that? Are you that fucking stupid? Another outburst and you'll be taken from the car. It has no choke on it. The gun has no choke on it whatsoever. So consequently, the buckshot just flies out at any and every direction. Insane people Race who kill the and who murder the children of their country. And your record, what does that show? What is my, what destroying is the record the of this country, country show? Destroying the country from within. This is all your record shows. You're destroying Take the world the from within. Anything that is in front of you is completely and totally out of luck when you point this thing and pull the trigger. What Born does LSD nation. have to do with death, with murder, with war, with injustice, with poverty, with racism? Take the prisoner out of here! Get him 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 out of here! You have to pump to jack a shell in the chamber. You have to pump to eject. I was I did a poetry reading and I had a rally for demonstration. Temperature ninety-three and degrees. Police came in and they, they swept us off the stage. People are just being just killed for nothing, hauled off to jail, hauled off to prison. I mean, the feeling is there is no feeling. Every day you walk outside your house, some guy takes a shot at you, man. Some pig in a goddamn uniform. Watch the pattern of the buckshot on this. And they say. This is democracy. Can you see the disbursement on that? It looks like about six or seven feet. We've got to wait for this the first man to come. Jump up. The first right. one. What, yeah. if, what if more than one comes up? An individual carrying the thing like this with a safety on might see someone that would be an antagonist. Who's going to be a decoy? Who can be a decoy? Can you go out there? Yeah. All right. Chad, you got no chance, man. you got to hit a man in the right spot if he's wearing Shit. a helmet. Slip the safety off and go like that. How would you try and remedy what's happening in America? I don't think it can be done. <clears throat> I think it just got to evolve out of it. And it'll happen. And I think it'll happen violently. Anything between those two shots is blown away. It is no longer causing you any trouble. It does not exist anymore. It has one purpose, one purpose alone, when loaded with buckshot, that is to kill. Not to disperse, not to harry, not to wound, to kill. 
Use it for that fact when you have to do so. Time remaining, 50 minutes. What, what are your feelings towards the police in this country? Well, I, I really don't think they're too different from anybody else. Uh, pigs are pigs. I mean, pigs have always been pigs. They're street cleaners of the public conscience. They're just like hired killers. These people have been sent out here unarmed. Unarmed? OK. Uh, I don't think Jack did anything to them. This, this is going to be the first revolution in the history of man when the, the pigs were in the upper class, though. I think they're in the same boat uh, as the people we left back at the, uh, at the uh, house. Uh, they have a they have a point of view, and uh, and they're willing to use any sort of uh, means to uh, back it up. I think they're doing a job. They're just taking orders. They're working. They're getting paid for what they do. Can you tell us? Uh, can you tell us what happened here? What happens obvious, what I don't know is why. What happened is that that young man that you see over there with that white cloth on his head is dead. They get paid more than social workers. They get paid more than college professors. They have a real stake in maintaining the status quo. He was attacked. Signs point to at least three people, maybe four. He was stabbed to death with the spires of a Joshua tree. Do you think uh, this man's death will cause any further antagonism on the part of your officers towards these people? No doubt about it. None whatsoever. Each man right now is thinking that that could have been him under the same set of circumstances, and it undoubtedly would have been. There's no doubt about the fact that it will cause more antagonism, and I think antagonism is a very mild word on the part of the men in my command toward these individuals. We have a specific plan of action that we execute just in case of circumstances such as these. And as soon as the National Guard, the individuals, as you know, that found the body informed me that, uh, that this had taken place, well, those, uh, those measures went into effect. This column to Sandy Hill for. This column to Sandy Hill for. Already, it's already there. It's already been happening for some time. Did they take any weapons from the deputy? They have his patrol car, of course. They have a 357 Magnum. They have a Remington 12-gauge Wingmaster shotgun, at least 50 rounds of ammunition. They, of course, have his billy club. They also took his shoes. They are armed. They are dangerous. They have a shotgun that is the most dangerous weapon that I can imagine. We will use force against them. We will not take any chances with these individuals. They've killed once. I don't like to lose men. Did any of you know the deputy that was killed? No, I didn't know him that well. No. Just not just a matter of briefly. personal vendetta. Quite the opposite. We're not doing this for ourselves. We're doing this for the people who pay the taxes. It, it's the thing that appalls me is that it seems to be almost understood. You know, it doesn't have to happen this way if we can just, if we can somehow create a, a, a change of spirit, a change of mind. It doesn't have to happen, no. but it is. Have you ever killed a man yourself? Yes, I have. What did you feel about that at the time? There was no feeling at all. The wrong suspects are all and do you think you're going to have to resort to violence? No, I hadn't thought about uh, violence at all. 
I don't think there'll be any need for violence. I think that's sort of what we're working against, actually, but um, it just seems like there's no, no other way to defend ourselves. I guess that violence might, might be necessary, yes. I can't see the good in, in fighting back. If they kill me, then what, what difference would my politics, what difference would any politics make? I would be dead. I... You quit your job, and you said you don't like to work for other people. Now, I can understand that a little bit. I mean, I, you know, have some of the same feelings sometimes. You get William Luke Valerio, kind of unemployed, happy. age but, uh, 30. You know, like, I've taken hunting trips sometimes, or uh, just gone off fishing or something for a couple of weeks, leave the old lady at home or something, but you seem to be on a vacation all the time. Is that, is that your view of life, just to be on a vacation all the time? I do what I want to do. Defendant Valero, do you understand why you are before this uh, tribunal? I don't want to go in the army. You, uh, if our country were attacked within the hour, would you, uh, would you join the United, United States services? I would not. You would not. Defendant Valerio, if I were to tell you I was going to wad up this piece of paper and hit you with it, what would you do? I would duck. Two p.m. KPCR News. B-52 bombers today launched a massive airstrike against the North Vietnamese armament center of Pen Dong, only 15 miles from the border with China. It's the whole violent thing in America. I don't know when it's going to stop. I don't know uh, what would uh, really bring it all to an end. You believe it's obviously getting worse? No, uh, very much so. I'm all the time. Yeah. With the war and uh, with the minorities, the poor, it uh, is constantly getting worse, and it seems that uh, more and more people are willing to turn to violence to uh, take care of it. And it seems to be escalating into a, an unthinkable sort of a situation. I don't think they're sincere. If they're sincere, why couldn't they ride in the wintertime? 2.23 p.m. Temperature, 101 degrees. Have you ever gone hunting, or have your dad or your parents or any of your friends taken you out hunting? I've never gone hunting. You've never shot a gun or a rifle? I've never shot a gun in my life. You don't know how to handle one or nothing? I don't know how to handle one. You don't like to handle one? I don't like guns. What were you charged with? Refusing induction. Agent Donovan, will you read that charge again? Charge three, conspiracy to aid and abet others in the unlawful flight to avoid the drift. How did you refuse? Did you just... just, uh, just I just ignored the, ignored the letter. Just didn't do anything. Uh, you say you don't like to travel, and still, according to the charges, you try to flee the country because of the draft evasion. That's uh, right. How do you reconcile that? I don't like to travel, but it was necessary. I wanted to get to some place where I could stay, be in one place, be left alone to do what I want to do, instead of all the hassles that I was having down here. And what happened? Did they come and just come and they, take you? They broke in. Mr. Valerio, you've testified that you live alone. Do you listen to the radio? Do you have a television set? I didn't testify that I live alone. I don't have a television set. I have a radio. Do you know what's going on in the world today? Do you realize what's happening about the Chinese crossing the North Vietnam border and we are now bombing within five miles of the border? Do you realize the intensity with which this situation faces the United States of America? I know that's getting very hard to live here. Uh, when they arrested me, uh, they uh, roughed me up uh, somewhat, and uh, that's when my wife uh, was arrested. Uh, I was just trying to help him. They, they charged me with assault on a police officer. The only legitimate thing that I can think of doing is to use my body or well-being or freedom or, or life as, as uh, to back up what I say. At another time, the honorable thing or the right thing to do might be to be a policeman or to be president. Right now, I think the honorable thing to do is to be a criminal. Two hundred and one years, my friend.
structure 509. We have a group of suspects inside of this is 7517. Would you describe your your work as committed socially? Uh, yes, it's it's committed. But it's uh it's not committed to uh, to the revolution. It's it's uh it's committed to uh Sanity. The normal human body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, an increase in body temperature of 6 to 8 degrees above normal for any extended period means death. I don't know what any of us could do. Maybe if we all got together for one day or for one week and stopped, just stopped doing everything and said, this has to stop, the fucking war has to stop. We have to do something about all the hate here. You were two weeks in jail before being brought out here. How did the police treat you? You said we were trash? They were really Really bad. Ready out there. All told by the senator the menace that faces us around the world and here you sit as if this was a picnic here you've got shackles on you've got handcuffs on and this is this is a picnic stop i will shoot you kill stop you sit there so quietly so calmly this this is sickening you're a traitor that's right Get it. perhaps you haven't had the uh, guards put the cuffs on tight enough no. oh. We don't make sounds of pain for you then. Out of order, irrelevant. I'm beginning to think maybe, maybe, and the others had the right idea. react against that though, it'll just bring it down worse on all of us. He loves this country, but I want to go to Canada. And how does he want to go to Canada? Evade the draft. Do you think they did this because, because they were Chicano or? It has nothing to do with Chicanos. They're going to do exactly the same thing to all of us. Get in the car. We have to get out of here. This is the first place they're going to come looking for. Come on, stay still. Stop, stop. They could be right, right behind any one of these little dunes right here. Come on. Temperature, 107 degrees. Why don't you stop following us, huh? We're going to make a choice between punishment park or prison. And he'll have to make that choice himself. You don't think he can cop out this time? The desert heat is a killer. It will burn your skin, sap your strength, cut your efficiency, drain the moisture from your body, and thicken your blood unless you drink water. There will probably be a daily temperature difference of 45 degrees between daytime heat and pre-dawn cool. <laughs> 